Hi everyone, I thought I would have a go at this um, striped Easter egg um, from um, Rita Berman's um, spring book. Um, this one was a video that I did already, so if you'd like to know how to do that one you can have a look um, at the end and go into my um, main channel homepage and hopefully it should be in my videos quite easy to spot or you can just do a search for um, Easter egg. Now I thought I would do a striped one because the technique for a striped one is a little bit different because you're using two colours so I thought it might just be useful to show you because we do often get striped eggs. Sometimes the stripes are going this way like on this one and sometimes they're going this way and because this one's got a pattern on it as well as the stripes I thought that one might be a bit I think they're normally striped this way. I'm just going to change my mind entirely. I'm going to do this one because most Easter eggs that you see are striped that way, not long ways. So I think I'm going to show you that one. I think that might be just more useful for you. Um, you're more likely to see one like this. Now what I had, I'm going to use my um, pastel tint pencils again. Like I said, in my video yesterday I do have a chart which shows you the nearest matches that I could find um, to polychromos on my Kofi page so I will link to that um, in the description so you can go and have a look if you want to do similar colours in polychromos for example but you don't have to you can do any colours. I thought for this one we would use um, two of the colours these are quite dark and vibrant I find that a little bit easier um, to demonstrate for you so you can see if I use a really pale one it's not going to show up on the camera but what I actually want is two shades of each of these colours so that I can do a darker and a lighter um, you could use three but I don't think I'm going to find three so I'm just going to have a quick look at my um, at my swatch chart you can find the camellia is there so I think this jelly bean is quite a nice lighter shade so I'm just going to grab that one and then for the other one is the tickle pink which is here um, I think the wisteria is the best lightest nearest match for that so I'm going to grab that one as well so I use two shades so really all you need to do is to dig into whatever pencil box you want to choose and take two shades of one colour and two shades of another one dark and one light and you don't have to use a purple lilac -y and a pink you can use anything that but they, you, you want to think about whether they'll go together as they're going to be next to each other the next decision to make is which is the main color because these stripes are really small and these stripes are really thick so I'm going to use the purple as the main color and I'm going to start with my tickle pink which is the darker one and um, we're going to get going. I've talked for long enough. Well, I'll keep talking. You know me. You can always mute me, you know. <laughs> now, what I want to do with this is to make it darker on the edges. So I'm going to layer it up here and then fade it towards the middle and then stop. Remember, I've got a lighter shade to use. And I'm going to do exactly the same here. But because this is the end, I need to go all the way around the bottom or top it's the top isn't it and then fade that down a bit too we may not get very much of our lighter color on this particular one because we need to do that edge with these it'll be a little bit different now I'm going to ignore this pretty floral design and the dots on it because um, it's going to make it too complex to try and color around it even if I was doing this on my own with a really sharp pencil I wouldn't be able to color around those and what I think I'm going to do with the eggs on this page is to do the backgrounds first and then I might go over them in different color um, gel pens um, for the design to make it look like they've been dyed like the shells have been dyed and then they've been painted I thought that might be rather fun um, paint pens would be better than gel pens actually so that's probably what I'll do so I'm repeating the same thing over and over as I go from section to section putting a nice dark area there with um, lots of layers of colour and then less layers towards the centre 
no oh it's a train ideally you want the um the light area to be line up you want it sort of down the center of your egg if you can um as close as you can get you know um it's not always easy to get completely accurate but do your best that's all you can do i haven't done a lot of coloring in this book yet i've been finishing my compilation book because Rita's got a compilation seasons book and four separate books and I had the compilation book first and uh, I've nearly finished it so I've sort of been working on finishing that one and then I was going to sort of save the others until I'd finished it but um, this one isn't this page isn't in the compilation book and um, you know I need something to colour so hey <laughs> It was a good excuse to dive in. I've done a little bit in this book. Wisteria is our slightly lighter one. This is quite pink. Um, but Wisteria is pinker than it looks from the barrel. So I'm just going to use it a little. But I still want it to be quite pale in the middle. As I say, it's going to be trickier on that end. But I'm just going to start using it where I started to fade the other one and then bring it to the centre you could even just use one colour for this and just fade your one colour as you go towards the middle it's uh, you know it's up to you I think sometimes it's a little easier to use more than one which is why I'm showing you with more than one <clears throat> excuse me so you can see that it's still darker on those edges and lighter down the middle and hopefully you can see that it's starting to look a little less flat this one looks quite flat compared to this one as we're shaping it with our layers of colour I, I uh, coloured a page of easter eggs um, recently I finished it this morning it was from I, I Go To Pop. She's got a beautiful Easter series she sent to me. I was very lucky. She just sent them to me for free. And uh, you may... Be, I'm going to put them on my Facebook page. You may have seen them. I don't, don't know what dates they'll be going up. Anyway, um, this is the Camellia, the dark pink. We're going to do exactly the same thing with the pink. And uh, I said to my boy, look, these are much nicer Easter eggs than the real thing because they're so much healthier. He went, no, they're not. <laughs> I do tease him. He usually gets an Easter egg from our neighbour, but uh, now they're getting older. I don't know if she'll keep doing it because, uh, you know, they're becoming adults now but by their own. Uh, she's so very kind and generous and then for the um jelly bean it's a good name isn't it not the jelly beans are always pink they come in such a variety of colors i'm actually almost leaving a bit of white there you can leave white in the center there it doesn't matter if you do or if you don't now let's have a look now I hope you can see that it looks like there's some shine going on down here and these bits look lower down and looks quite rounded. Um, like I did with yesterday's egg, I am going to just go over the edges a little more, I'm using the tickle pink, to doubly emphasise the darker bit. Um, the darker you make it on the edges, the more rounded I think it can look. So I'm just layering that up. It's going to, I'm going to have to fade it. I don't want a line, but uh, I really want it to look quite dark just on these edges. I don't know if you can see it making any difference. I don't know if it is. And then the same with our pinks, the camellia. looks quite neony in this light to me but I don't know if it doubt it does in the camera 
it's uh, it's just the way the light is rolling. Talking of neons, I'm going to use my Prisma neons some point. I've got an idea of using them for um for uh for uh just a sort of mandela or something just to use them because I've not used them. Um, I'm just going to go and get a paint pen. Bear with me. Right, I grabbed a handful of Posca paint pens. I'm just going to have a think about what to do. We've got a blue. We've got, I think that's too close to what we've done already. We've got a light pink, which I'm considering. A lighter blue, which might be nicer than this dark one. A very dark blue, which I don't think I will do. A dark purple, probably not. Metallic, a sort of that's green, that's no good. It's cut well, it's aqua green. I'm thinking maybe that might be a little bit close to what we've got, so maybe we use a blue so it looks a bit different. But which of the two we've got? I think it's light blue and glacier blue. I'm thinking the glacier blue, that's what I'm going to use. So let's give it a shake. And just try on scrap here. So I'm going to go over all the dots. I just check it. I'm recording. Paranoid check. Now I could go over all the lines as well, but I don't think I've got the skill, the patience to do that. I'm not sure if this was a good colour choice. But never mind. I'm thinking it might look better if the stripes were white rather than black. But uh, it's just my thought. Now I am rubbish at painting. If you're good, you might fancy actually using acrylic paint with a brush. But I can just about manage a pen but a brush I am just rubbish at, so that's why I like the Poscas and there's no doubt about it, they are very expensive. There are cheaper alternatives, um, but I don't know if they're any good, whether the paint's watery or whether they're just as good, I've got no clue. I've never used anything else because these are what my local art shop stocks and I've tried them and I like them, so I just think, well, I'm going to stick with them. Do you know what I mean? It seems a bit risky buying something else that might not be very good. And I don't use them that often. Not all these coloured ones. So I think I don't really want to buy loads of other colours. Just in case they just sit and gather dust and dry up. Okay, I am going to do the white. Um, let's just push those pens away. I've got the um, a white Posca here. Sorry, that was very blurred, wasn't it? This one should be working okay. It's quite new as well. Uh, I've got the challenge of trying to do this and keep my hand out of the blue that I've done already. But I think making these lines blue white rather than that very stark black will uh, make them look more eastery. It's going to take a little bit of time, but uh, I'm sure I can find something to chat to you about while I'm doing it. I uh, just had a message from my husband that she's saying that uh, they had one more lecture to go and then they'd be on their way home. So uh, he's with my son at his university offer holders day. So he's been given an offer by the university, a conditional offer. Those in the UK will know what that means. Basically, if he gets, um, I think it's BBC, BCC, then um, he can get a place. But um, today, if he goes today, he has the opportunity of having an interview. Um, whether he's had it today or, or, or organised it for another day online, I'm not sure. And uh, 
Um, if he has an interview, it's very likely he will get that conditioner turned to an unconditional offer. His brother, his cousin, his cousin's boyfriend, they're all going to the same university. They've all got that already. It's, he's the only one that hasn't yet managed to do it, but his day just happened to be later. So, uh, that was that really. But, um, I think there were two days he could have picked from, but um, one of them clashed with something else that was going on. can't remember. So uh, he picked this one. Or it was a Sunday and he wanted a Saturday or something like that. There we go. So there is the egg. I quite like it looking painted. I think I'm going to do that on all of this page, is to um, colour and then paint all the eggs. Um, I think it's rather fun. But um, hopefully it still looks like it's a bit more three-dimensional. I think it does. As that shine really helps. So that's how to do um, an Easter egg in a, a stripy Easter egg. So that's that one. I'm not going to demonstrate any of the other eggs or part of the page. I will um, share the completed page with you at some point when I've done it. Um, in my completed pages at the end of the month, it'll be a long time to wait, but um, I will share it then so uh, you will get to see it. But um, I'm not sure if I'm going to share it on my Facebook page because I've got loads of different Easter eggs to share with you on there and different Easter egg pictures. So uh, I may not, but it all depends. Um, but anyway, for now, thank you so much for watching. Um, have a really lovely day. Um, look out this afternoon. I think it's a planner um, video, maybe? I'm trying to work out what I've, what what's, uh, what's scheduled and what's not. But uh, anyway, there will be a video this afternoon, so do, um, or later, later, depending on what time of day you are. Um, so do look out for that one. And uh, please do remember to um, like and subscribe. But thank you so much. Have a lovely day and happy colouring.